watch this video all the way to the end, like the very end, that really helps the channel. I would show you some content of the mule and all the content that I'm talking about that has been leaked, but I don't want to get any copyright strikes against the channel. I would love to show you, but I just can't afford to do that right now since, you know, it would be massively bad for the channel, but I hope you enjoy. What's up, Jiggies? It's Baron here today. We got some stuff on some ships and stuff about Invictus and some of the ships that we're expecting. So we got a little bit more about the mill. We got a little bit more about the drop ship from Anvil and just some general info. So I don't know if anyone's seen the leaks and whatnot, but so Drake in a plant tree has brought out a cargo vehicle. So it's a six wheel Drake mule is a dependable workhouse for all sorts of loading and hauling jobs. Whether transporting cargo over rough terrain or ferrying into larger vessels and cargo decks, the mule sees even the toughest contracts through to the end, plain and simple. So the next one, the Anvil Aerospace, the focus on this one is boarding. So when the operation calls for a hostile takeover of an enemy vehicle or station, the Anvil Legionnaire is ready for to report for duty. With eight drop seats, versatile docking options and an advanced security infiltration system, even the most difficult of boarding actions is feasible with the Legionnaire in your fleet, which I probably might end up getting one of these since I've just seen this and yeah, that looks pretty freaking cool. I don't know if anyone's seen the skins for the Scorpius, um, the Pisces, the Redeemer, the Inferno series, uh, the Caterpillar, the Mule, they all look freaking sick. The one for the 600 iron, the Valkyrie, is just like what the oh my god they look so good i mean i haven't been this excited for a while but i'm gonna get all those skins so i'm just trying to give you guys an updated uh, piece of info the legionnaire is roughly 32.422 meters long so it's actually rather probably double the length of a vulture so it looks pretty cool it looks like the mixture between a valkyrie and a terrapin which is kind of interesting but again it's its very own ship it has its very own sort of charismatic um personality i would say so with the scorpius there looks to be about seven or eight skins i'm just gonna say seven or eight skins and i'm waiting for my uh other skin that we got when we were um what do you call it uh, concierge. I'm waiting for that skin. But there are some cool skins. It looks like there's an Invictus skin for the Pisces. It looks like there's a metallic red for the Redeemer. And just all sorts of crazy wacky skins. So the sale is going to be fantastic. We've got some um, specs here on the Vulture as well. So obviously its role is light salvage. Its career is industrial. Its ship size is too. So it means what? What is that? Medium, I guess. Um, cargo size 16 SCU. You know, inventory capacity 1.5 SCU its body uh, 1500 HP I'm gonna say that's the damage and the health that it has so uh, the total of it is 4200 HP the dimensions is 94 meters by 70 meters by 23 meters um, the mass of it is 114,000 kilos and 591 uh, the speed of it is 165 ms its afterburner speed is 1114 ms its pitch is 30 degrees your 30 degrees roll 110 degrees its hydrogen capacity is 360,000 liters its QT fuel capacity is 583 liters its weapons are two size one gimbaled CF117 Bulldogs its shields are two size one bulwarks its power plants are two size one fortitudes its coolers are two size one Thermax its quantum drive is one size one Goliath so the thrusters two size four main thrusters 16 size 1 maneuver thrust. That's a lot for a little ship. 2 size 4 retro thrusters. So if you haven't seen any of this, I'm going to guess you are going to know where to get this. It's a certain Star Citizen Leaks channel. But we will have some of this content on our Discord as well. But again, some of this look, stuff looks really cool. This Invictus is going to be really awesome. So it looks as though this mule has some sort of a tractor beam and sort of a... A clamping system at the front to hold cargo and move it around so as we know this is like a cargo moving vehicle it looks like it's going to be sitting quite high up um, off the ground like not high as but it's got big wheels so I would think of it like an Ursa Rover just with six wheels and sort of more compact and pushed together it's just it makes a little bit more sense when you have a look at it 
if you haven't been to an Invictus, it's pretty simple to get there. If you haven't been to Orison, it may be a little bit complicated to you. Um, but you're going to be using the transit system over there, the shuttle uh, service that you will see around your HABs. What you're going to do is you will end up jumping on the main line, which that will end up taking you around to the Providence Industrial Platform, depending on which one you jump on. But when you get to August Dunlow uh, Spaceport, you're going to jump off there. And you're going to look for one that says Vision Center Line. So when you see Vision Center Line on uh, one of the platforms, so there'll be like a little a flag, piece of flagging there. You're going to go to that one. You're going to go follow that one through and it will take you all the way out to the Vision Center is where um, the Invictus sale is going to be held. So it's not too difficult to get there, but it does take a little bit of a step to get there. But there should be signs there to point you in the right direction so that you don't get lost and you can find your way there. So rest assured, you should be fine. But a little bit of information does go a long way so if you haven't been a part of the community and you're looking to buy star citizen now is the great like the best time to do it because obviously you don't have to go and buy the game you can just use a free starter pack get into star citizen to see how you feel about the game and if you really want to commit the money to it because at the end of the day after 30 days or something you can get your money back i mean it's not really anything lost but during that week up until the 31st of this month you will then be able to get a free ship package so that you can fly around test out the game see what you think of it whether or not you like it you will have every Every single ship in the game to be rented to see how they go and see if you really vibe with any vessels like listen to anyone down in the comments this is probably one of the best sales to come into Star Citizen to see if you really do like it without having to spend so much money or anything like any money at all really like it's gonna cost you literally nothing just a little bit of your time that's if you want to play it you could be doing other things but you know come play Star Citizen come chill for a little bit I mean so there's nothing really to lose and everything to gain I mean, some people will see it differently, but again, everyone's different. So come on in, Star Citizen. We like, we welcome you. We hope you enjoy this, and we will see you in the verse.